What's up you guys, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another video. Now, I'm sorry for the lagging. Again, my computer seems to be messing up. It's just not bringing in data the right way. So I apologize if there is lagging during this video, but we're gonna be talking about Jasmine Coin. So I hope that there's not, right? Because I like talking about Jasmine Coin. This is a project that I bought back at, you know, 40% of a penny. And I know there's a lot of other people that also bought at these levels and believe in Jasmine Coin wholeheartedly. They believe that this is going to go and skyrocket to a ridiculous level, right? We're talking about a dollar, two dollars, all time highs, right? These predictions are, are through the roof. Right now, we're not seeing a crazy amount of volume in Jasmine Coin. We are seeing that the price looks standard. The price is great. Um, where it where it is, I would like to see a lot further, but it's great to see it hold at these levels. But the volume is not telling us that you know we're going to see this you know, absolutely skyrocket right now from a $1.5 billion in volume down to where we are at a 29 or $30 million in volume for the last 24 hours. Doesn't seem great, right? Um, but what I want to talk about is more about the lockup, right? There's been a lot of conversation about the lockup. We knew that on the roadmap, it said that the lockup was supposed to happen in April, right? Beginning when we first talked about it, it was supposed to happen in Q1. Um, but they put out on the roadmap that it was going to happen in Q2, specifically, uh, parentheses, April, right? They had it, uh, listed there. We didn't, we didn't have a specific date, <clears throat> but we had that it would happen during this month. However, it is at the end of this month. We are what, two days away from the actual end of this month, from the new month happening, meaning that if this doesn't happen either today, tomorrow, or the next day, that it was a lie that it wasn't going to happen in April or that it was supposed to happen in April, but didn't happen in April. And we would like some sort of an explanation. Clarity is, is something that does, when you are transparent, it does sit differently with a, a lot of the community when you are transparent. If you're not transparent, sorry, there's cat hair that's flying through there. Uh, if you're not transparent, then it's not something that sits well with us at all. We want to see the transparency. If you feel as though it's not going to launch in April, or that it's not going to get initiated in April, then just just say that we have to we have to be clear, especially with how um, this community has built up and how many people have now started holding Jasmine Coin that believe in Jasmine Coin that want to see the continuation of the build process, right, as well as the growth process. So. Let's get into the lockup and just talk about that. But guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more of these videos. Also, make sure you check out some of the links that are down below. It does help out the channel. And if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, follow me on Patreon, those links are in the description. Um, and don't forget about uh, my link from Marjex. You can actually trade um, Jasmine Coin over there. <clears throat> Up to 50x leverage is Jasmine Coin. Um, you can do 5x leverage or 10x leverage, but feel free to check that out. And I feel like it is at a good level. Honestly, it was at a good level 24 hours ago, but you know, it's still at a good level where it is right now. Um, so yeah, let's go into, um, the coin market cap data for Jasmine coin. It currently sits at 1.8 cents. It is below that two point, uh, two cent level, <clears throat> but we are seeing an increase over the last day, um, up to 1.8, 1.8. Uh, to nine <clears throat> up 1.6 percent and um, my overall amount that I have here I still have a million I haven't done anything with it um, the market cap is at 901 million dollars and like I said in the beginning of this video earlier in the beginning of this video um, you see the volume that's at 29.8 million dollars in total volume leaving the volume to market cap ratio somewhere that Jasmine coin never sits Jasmine coin typically hovers around 10 to 30% volume to market cap ratio, displaying its popularity. However, for this day, it's at 3%, uh, definitely on the lower side of that volume to market cap ratio that we want to see. Um, and I just want to see continuation of popularity. Now, granted, the overall market volume is down, doesn't mean that the price is down, prices are actually up. But the overall volume is down by 13% and Jasmine Coins volume is down by 20%, but that's still very low uh, for Jasmine Coin. Again, typically hovering around 10 to 30%. If we look at the last seven days, you know, it's uh, down 9%. 
the last month, it's uh, down by 14%. In the last year, um, it's up by 172%. You could see that consolidation there, and we would expect to see more of a bull flag scenario. Boom, consolidation, and then absolutely lift off once we see all coin season that happens. Um, whenever that does take place, we need to see that Bitcoin dominance obviously decrease, and we start seeing adoption by you know uh, major institutions and firms and all of that stuff. Um, but when it comes to the Jasmine coin lockup, I think this is something that a lot of people anticipated the most just to see a decrease in coins, right? I like hyper deflationary projects. I like projects that take coins out of circulation because if you take those coins out of circulation, it now gives people the opportunity to see much higher prices or a much higher price ceiling for at least the short term, whatever that, uh, you know, length of life is for the, um, for the cryptocurrencies lock up or burn or whatever. Um, but some people are very uh, bearish on what's going on where things were promised, where you have utility that was promised, you have a 99% dilution within the project, you have um, no activity right now on the, on the blockchain, um, you have the lockup that hasn't happened, it was promised but hasn't happened. So some people, understandably so, are frustrated with the lack of clarity give us something but then you have people that are still very bullish on it i'm still very bullish on it even though we don't have full clarity on exactly when the lockup will happen uh, but you have people that are talking about the low market cap and it still has a low market cap um 100 million coin lockup is coming we don't know when but it's coming uh panasonic partnership and data storage etc right so i think it's all about um, the reason why people are getting upset is because of the fact that the lockup was promised. As we go into uh, some of this data, let's go to the top comments. As we go into some of this data, you understand that the lockup was promised in April. It said 100 million coin Jasmine lockup to initiate the lockups in April, right? Q1 April. That's Q1 for them. It's Q2 for us. So for a Q1 April, it should have happened. Now, again, we still have today, tomorrow, and the next day to where this could actually happen. And people are getting kind of their, their panties in a bunch because they it, it, it hasn't happened, right? Even if it doesn't happen in April, all I ask for, and I'm pretty sure everybody else in the community, all they ask for is clarity and, uh, you know, transparency as to why it did it, right? It's not about the fact that it doesn't happen or they lie to us often. This is um, the first bit of like information that they put out in like a while for like a roadmap. Um, in 2023, they didn't have that. In 2022, they didn't have that. So it's, you know, you're seeing this uh, roadmap, you're seeing things that are laid out there. And it's understandable um, as to maybe why you can't hit deadlines. It's just, you have to be transparent. You have to. I'm still very bullish on Jasmine coin. I still think there's so much upside to this, but we have to make sure that we get all the information and the transparency that we needed. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Do you still believe in Jasmine coin? Are you disappointed right now and not seeing the lockup yet? Or are you going to wait until the end of April to voice your disappointment? Guys, uh, again, hit the like button. Check out my link for Margex down below if you guys want to trade Jasmine coin. But I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.